Couple guests here uh, hanging out. Uh, it's, it's been a very, very educational program today, I'd like to say, and and some fun, of course. Uh, Aaron Berg joins us, and uh, now we have Ashley Moffat, who brought in uh, Jess Bolu. Uh, right? I'm saying that. Yeah, here. you killed it. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. You, do you know Aaron? Do you have you ever worked We've with Aaron? We met briefly. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Good. Thanks. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, Jess. How are you? Oh, hello. Hi. Um. So uh, I guess I mean, listen. Uh, you, are you are you guys lesbian? <laughs> Sorry, what? God, you ask me that every time I come in. No, because because it's a radio show, right? So you have to, yeah. yeah we talk about these things you know, the same way I would I would say, uh, you know, I'm Jewish. You, to 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 get into a fair was that an offensive question? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that was. You're not allowed to gender qualify anybody based on their sexuality. No, I, I'm by I'm very. What are you curious. talking about? I don't. That doesn't actually oh, I, make any sense. What you just so said. yes, I, she's a lesbian. Okay. That's this quick. Of I it. didn't mean. Of, I didn't wow, mean, we're already getting no. so offensive, and I've been here for less than a minute. This I've is been, incredible, been Aaron. Ashley, is that, was that, was, I, that was me. Your entire to... life, probably. Go oh, ahead. guys, I don't want to fight. Listen, my my whole goal was like like my, that's my thing with Ashley. Like that's like this is our ongoing. Fun. We, we joke about uh, I'm a oh Ashley's a lesbian and I'm like oh yeah I'm and a lesbian she, and then we kiss later and then, yeah and then I tell her I'm very bi curious <laughs> which is a fact yeah. And, yeah. and Ashley yeah. helps me uh, helps me with that stuff yeah. so become one of my my very good friends and I'm sorry if that was the if I, I just I don't I'm just trying to have fun man I don't yeah. know Jess didn't find uh, it funny I'm Jess sorry has a very funny. different I, sense of humor I, and I, unless I, you're unless you're a lesbian you can't make jokes about being a lesbian no but to be honest like you know well when we, he also doesn't know me at all and doesn't know what my sexuality is. So to assume that is offensive. So yeah, oh, but, I, but yeah. I wasn't assuming anything. I was asking a question. There's no assumption. Yeah. That's like just, got the, the voice the, of an angel. Yeah, though. I'll I'll tell literally, you that. I, I was not trying to be. I have the voice of an angel. Yeah. Oh, wait till you hear when I start talking about you. Okay, yeah. well, let's okay. Let's, <laughs> It's, so, we, we got 18 minutes, Jeff. Oh, boy, that's away. not can, enough. I need 18. We got to warm up. That flannel's so going to start sweating through, and you got to get home and listen to some Sarah McLaughlin. we got to get started here. We, well, you got a problem with Sarah McLaughlin? No, hey, fuck wonderful. you. Canadian <laughs> song strip. That's the most insulting thing you've ever said. Yeah. That's saying a lot. My God. Um... Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice silence here. No, no. Uh, just, what do you want just, to talk uh, just, about? Yeah, yeah. The, the, you obviously, uh, we, we, you know, we, we, it was very nice. Allison Door hooked us up, and, and you came in last moment. So thank you for giving us your time. Uh, grateful oh, hey, for that. no problem. Um, and and I think you've been outspoken about this. Uh, white guys matter. I don't know. Like I don't know what you've said or what you haven't said. Oh, uh, white, okay. white guys matter. Um, I just know you were suggested to get on last minute for the program. Right. Uh, and here you are, Aaron's of course uh, part of the show tonight at Yuck Yucks. Uh, my yeah. presence, you know, big club. I downtown. don't know, Jess. So we've okay. never met before. Never so met. I don't know the so history. What, of what are your thoughts because I, I come in as completely you know blind really no no and i'm not offending blind about like, what no. my thoughts are yeah yeah i hate it i think it's bullshit and horrible and problematic and it's uh, all of the issues in the world right now wrapped up into one and, and but, your reasons for, for, <laughs> but your reasons for that um i think it's mocking the oppression of marginalized people it's mocking social justice movements that are fighting for their rights and freedoms i think it, there are so many fucking spaces for white guys right now i don't know why you need to create another one i think the title of the show is probably supposed to be some stupid hook but what it's going to do is invite hate towards marginalized people and inspire bigots uh ar around the world it already is so good for you in doing that congratulations uh, yeah. the, the proud the Proud Boys just got a hold of Jess's Facebook. Yeah, the that, Proud that's Boys. That's horrific. And, the old right group. Uh, Megan Fraser is a media, uh, comedian in the city. She's amazing. Uh, she's getting death threats on yeah. Twitter for, for we, voicing we, her opinion. You know, and again, I'm, I'm not taking any side here, but I know that, that so, is, so is Aaron and so is, so is Darren Frost. Yeah. And, you know, the death threats are coming from both sides. So, you know, we, we should make that very clear. Right. right. Now, now, but have you asked and Aaron? And can we also yeah. mention it's a comedy show, It's a right? comedy. It, it is jokes. Have you, have you asked Aaron if that's what his intention Intent was to inspire. What's what was your yeah. intent? I, well, I read your intent in a Now magazine article right. today. Too. Yeah, I was misquoted in that. You were anyway. misquoted. Yeah, it's a lovely magazine. Uh, I used to get hookers out of the back of it, but it's okay. Uh, that's anti-sex work. So anti-sex work. I'm just gonna by hiring a hooker is anti-sex work. Well, I feel like there's... I think it's contributing to sex work. Okay. Yeah, okay. but thanks for you posting your red flag. Uh, oh. My point was to stir up shit with people like you that put on these shows that are very inclusive, but you 
set limitations on what comedy can be and you say this is a place where you cannot joke about these things and I've been made aware of these shows that you put on. Our show is to mock the current status of the industry. I don't know if you work professionally as a comic or if you work I don't know you so I do I, work I professionally a, as a comic and, and you, a writer and a stand up comic actor. and yes. you're hired by a network that you work for. Yeah. Have I been hired by a network no, that I work you, for? You're working what are you working on right now? What am I working on right oh, now? So a bunch of different things. Do you what want do you... to name any of them, or are they all just things? Do you, are you questioning my professionalism right now? Yeah, that's that exactly you're actually why I doing? asked if you're a professional. Yeah, I'm questioning I've been your in a bunch of different festivals. I've been in JFL 42. I've uh -huh. been one of the 42 in JFL 42, which uh -huh. you were just unaware of, I guess. I've written for the Beaverton television show. I've yeah. written for other television shows, been paid money. This I've been right. an actor, you a working actor. You make a living actor. as a stand-up? Or... I make a living as many things okay, in so entertainment. You, all right, so you but you wouldn't qualify yourself as a full-time stand-up comic. Um, no, but I probably have more fans than you do. Oh, that sounds wonderful, but I doubt it highly. I, uh, I, I live don't. in the United <laughs> States where people actually uh, go out and see comedy. So my question to you is why do you have these rooms that are like you're putting limitations on people? What we're doing is mocking the current status of the industry. If you work in the industry, you'll know that now there's I do work in the industry. Great. Don't then be you, condescending you'll know to this. me. I'm not. I'm okay. talking to you. You will know that there's quotas now where they say we we need a certain amount of people of color, a certain amount of um, different sexualities to hire for jobs. And okay. there's very few jobs. Now, what we're doing is mocking that. None of us are in a position where we're hurting for money. None of us are in a position where our careers are woeful. So we're mocking white guys that complain about that. You're mocking white guys that complain about that. That's correct. Do you realize that though, by creating this show, you are inviting hate towards marginalized people? That you're that you're like attracting groups. That You're putting that onto them. No, I'm what not I'm putting that onto them. What I'm going to do is them. go and do 45 minutes of really funny stuff that people are going to laugh at, and there's no boundaries as to what my comedy is. You don't think that the Proud Boys supporting this show is problematic? Can, can I ask a question? Because do you think the Proud Boys would, would support a show like this if they never even was brought to their attention? I mean, who fucking cares if, if it wasn't or if it was. There wouldn't have been already Proud Boys attending the show. I don't know. That's also just bad advertising if they didn't already know about it. I mean, like I was exposing and not to get attention from the Proud Boys to, to bring attention to others that you guys are doing shit like this. Jess, uh, Jess Bullard joins us, Ashley Moffat. Is, is you know, in, in your words, what, what would the difference be of the shows that Aaron was talking about where it's whether it's uh, all female based or all, all you know, uh, lesbian based or, you know, all is, is there a difference? I mean, I think there's a difference because we like in order when you're producing those shows, you're giving a platform to people whose voices have been silenced their entire lives. It's you, affirmative you mean, action. OK, I mean, is marginalized the people, you people. Put on the shows I mean, the, marginalized the, people or the audience. I mean, I produce a bunch of different shows. My yeah. weekly show like I. I uh, the point is, is to center marginalized people who have been shut out of entertainment right. for, 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 since the beginning, since right. like the beginning of time. Totally understand. And you're giving a platform now to white guys and you're giving it this title. No, no. The, the difference between what you're doing is you're giving opportunities to marginalized people. What we're doing is making people laugh. It's a big difference. Oh, oh you're such a... Oh, the gloves are off! Oh, my God. <laughs> so you think that do you, oh, you think that a bunch of no. marginalized people on a show can't make someone laugh? I, Give me a spot. Give me I, a spot. I, I'm going to bury you I guarantee you, you they can make people laugh for the marginalized audience. I don't oh, know no, if they no, can no, make no, people no, no, laugh no. Can we get some fucking... Oh, fuck. Sorry. I just, J.J. Lieberman was supposed to be on that show, and he got fired from Yuck Yucks. And I remember doing a show for Todd. It was a roast battle. I spanked that boy. I crushed him. I tore him to shreds. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know. But I just I'm, wanted to get Ashley, that. I'm sure, and I haven't seen you. You can look uh, at me. It's all right. You won't light on fire. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. I, I'm oh, sure. Just, I, 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 just, I would really. She, that was. She, she was in a horrible accident where she was Why lit on fire. Why do you hate birds? Really? Like I did not know this. <laughs> That is, I like Ashley. She's funny. She's funny. Uh, she's very funny. I don't know you, and I'm sure you're hilarious. But I think JJ's funny too. Do you think JJ's funny? Or I mean, I don't think he's as funny as I am. Uh... I don't think he's funny at all. But yeah. I. Why uh, is that? Because oh. I've seen him do really well. 
I've seen him tank. Under a lot of so, yeah, I've seen him tank. Too. I've seen him kill and tank. I've yeah. seen him kill and tank in the same show actually. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> so why, just why do you think he's not funny? Is it because the subject matter, or because you disagree with his personal standpoint? Uh, both. I also yeah. just don't think he's funny. So you I have, have no to. Connection. I think you have, I have to no separate these things from the funny. I think as a comic, and and no, please disagree don't. On that, okay. I, I I I agree that. with the fact <laughs> yeah. that you disagree. But as comics, our community as comedians would be stronger if we all agreed on some core beliefs. I, what any, core beliefs well, are you me, talking can, about? That funny is first. Funny. No, funny he, is not first. Funny is, then get the fuck out of comedy, No, lady. okay, I, I don't give a shit that if people are laughing at racist jokes, at sexist jokes, at homophobic, transphobic jokes, I don't care if people are laughing. Those people are also bigots and wrong. Really? Because when they and laugh they at a valid, gay joke, and you, they go out and chase a gay person in a Ford No, but F-150. maybe a gay person who's at that show feels smaller yeah. and less safe and in maybe, that space. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know. You, you're a white guy. Is that right? I'm you're a, a white guy. I'm okay, a Jew. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure maybe you've experienced some oppression in your life as a Jewish yeah. person. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Like, and your eh. nose is small. You're lucky. I know. I got it done so that she wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jewish. No, I mean, I, I, the amount of anti-Semitic comments. Yes, that's I my understand life it, but crazy. it's also like it's a comedy club it's, where it's like you go into that willing to let those things go well, for you, the time that you're in. No, that comedy you don't. Club. You know how many friends you of mine. Don't. Everybody so else. So many friends yeah. of mine who are straight white guys who enjoy. They don't oh, want to hear. How dare they don't you? Wanna, but, I, I, I just, didn't say. Okay. Just, let me. Let me just. What? Ask I'm here. in the middle of making a point. I know, but uh, fair enough. Go, go. Finish well, the point. Fuck, I don't I'm just. I'm just saying that a lot of g- people. I know people who I don't even know personally who come to my shows, a whole collection of different people, different identities. They are like, this is so nice. It's so refreshing to be at a show where I don't feel like there are hate crimes on right. stage. Yeah. Where I don't feel like my identity is being attacked, where right. my, the identity of my friends are being attacked, yeah. where I have to sit through racist material, I have to sit through sexist shit, where I have yeah. to watch my so, friends get harassed it, in the audience. Right. People don't, like okay. a lot of people, a lot of people it, don't like comedy like that. The reason it, that shows like hosted by marginalized people, produced by us, the reason they're successful is because there's a market for that and there's a lot of people, even people who look like you, who come to my you shows and like love me. it. I'm just Jews? saying. Yeah. You look like a skinhead, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of skinheads. Yeah. He, he, so he many skinheads at my shows. Yeah, and they like, look at so many targets all in one place. Oh, uh, funny <laughs> joke. What, 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 I wanna, what I want to yeah. ask Stop is, is banging it's, your nose. It's interesting because Ashley yes. Ashley brought up the the we oh did a roast God. we did a roast one winner for uh, we did a thing called Chirp Fest where you just got on stage and chirped each other. It's Canadian version ripping off the roast battles where people really dig in deep on whatever you are yeah. in those roast battles and they go hard. They go hard at you for your race, they go hard at you for your weight, they go hard at you for your sexual preference, all of that. And those were, were supremely successful for a, very while, uh, for a very long time. Look at the Comedy Central roast, how massive those were in terms of ratings and things. My and, wife, and, by the way, 3-0 yeah. and at the Roastmasters in New York City. Unbelievable. Stand, yeah. Um, wow. Wonderful. Yeah, that's kind of, I didn't even know that. Uh, I'm afraid. But uh, mm-hmm. it, it, when, when is, is there a difference when everyone is in the room together? And then second part of that question, if it's comedy... Should there be a difference when people aren't in the room together because it's still creating laughter? Oh, I don't think I don't think it matters who's in the room or who's not. I mean, I mean on the stage. So if it's only white guys on a stage roasting everyone, does it only matter then if there are other people there of different, you know, denominate of different? Well, I mean, I definitely think it's worse when it's it, only white guys all roast, roasting but if everyone the purpose else. Is just because so again, you got to understand, I'm not a comedian. Okay, I'm a, I'm a co- I'm a, I'm a host of many comedians. I get to moderate. I get to I get to enjoy humor. But I but I, we're getting a ton of fucking calls. Um. Well, what and I'm getting distracted. Sorry. What I love about comedy, and I said this early in the program, but I just want to repeat it, is that it was the one place I could go in this world where I didn't have to worry about being offended and being offended about either being Jewish or being offended about you know there. Was, I said this earlier, suicide in my family, and you hear comics going about people getting suicide. So that hits that hits me really fucking deep to almost bring to the point where it brings me tears. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? That's unfair because I came in here and now I'm hypocritical, at laughing at some things but not others. So when I go to comedy clubs, I try. Not not to be hypocritical. I try to laugh or just don't laugh. And if I don't find something funny, I don't, I just, I just let it go because the purpose and the intent was to, was to bring pleasure, not to bring this, these white supremacists or these assholes or these, you know, certain groups and creating hate. That's in my mind, comedy is never, never about inciting hate. 
and and I'm surprised that this is what a lot of people are maybe thinking. I, I am surprised by that. It is inciting hate, though. Like the, this show is inciting hate. The on show the internet. itself just is just four, five funny guys being funny. But it's never just about that. It's never just a joke. There's a bigger picture no, here. No, it's comedy. It's just a joke. This no, is where we it's not. differ. This why is can, probably now, th this is the why stuff. I like, I'm asking honestly. About, like it feels subjective now. It and, feels and subjective. It, it, like where comedy is subjective, right? Do we agree to that? Sure. You like some things, you like to, you, you don't like others. Yeah. But comedians on stage trying to make jokes, that's the concrete similar, si similarity between every comedian going up. Is it not? Okay. Attempting humor, which is not fucking easy. I don't, I don't want to know why any of you fuckers do it, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, and, and you try to create humor. And sometimes you kill, like J.J. Lieberman, and sometimes you bomb like J.J. Lieberman. Yeah. And that happens. But, you know, to walk away and, and like, isn't there, especially as a comic, don't you kind of want to take a deep breath? Maybe check out the show first. And see it, because that's that's what I would want to do if there was an, an anti-Jew show. I would want to check it out first to see what people... I don't need to check out a show with four white guys doing comedy. I see that all the fucking time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And well, let me tell you, I definitely, before JJ was fired, I definitely don't need to see JJ Lieberman do comedy ever again. That would be, wow. just be a delight. What a gift that would you be to me. You are cancer on comedy. That's exactly what you are. You I'm a cancer comedy. on comedy? You're cancer to comedy. Oh You're my really God! I'm gonna look you up online and watch your TED talks, and hopefully, I can get some subscribers to your Patreon page. I'm looking forward to it. Holy You're absolutely shit. mistaken. I am You're, not mistaken, You're trying man. to put limitations on comics. You're fucked up. You're you're the wrong. Th you're fucking comedy ISIS, lady. The the limitations that are on Jess's show are like no rape jokes, and it's pretty easy to not tell a rape joke. I have a fucking hilarious rape joke, and it'll kill. Oh, I'm not sure. surprised you do it all. My wife has a hilarious rape oh, joke. Oh, great! We find funny in everything. Your rape, your rape, 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 yeah. rape survivor. Rape survivor. She makes a joke. I'm a rape survivor. Eight rapes, no charges. I'm surviving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Me, Todd Shapiro, and the I've staff been... laughed. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, You're my calling me laughing. fucked up, and you just made yeah. that oh, joke? Fuck. You don't have a funny bone in your body, lady. We, oh, fuck you, hey, we man. Got, we, got we got 40 seconds You're left. Horrible. We, can keep talk, we can keep talking. The show ends, but it all goes up later. I mean, I'm not going to yeah. keep talking Here. to somebody okay. who's as ignorant as this man. Ignant. Right. Okay, okay, let, okay, ignant. Uh, Je Jess, where can people find you or give you a death threat? Uh, I'll be on Facebook complaining. Like, you guys are mocking death threats. Death threats right now. This no, that, is I was like, we got death threats too. Death him. threats are both sides. I was, I was again death making a light how ridiculous is all this. Let's just come together. Like, you know, yeah. and, and where's the intent? And, you know, again, I'm not mocking anything here, I promise you, Jess. I'm trying to bring it as a healthy, Ashley knows me, bro. I'm trying to bring it as a healthy discussion to find out if there's a compromise in this stuff. And for me, the compromise is funny and laughing. And we got to run. And I just hope we can do that. I really do. Yeah. I, I think the compromise is put some. I think this show would be funny if it was all black women. But put black women on the show. I will take that I note have, and I will pass it to I the asked, producer. I, asked, I, asked, I think it's a very uh, I asked lovely Aisha, note. Uh, Brown to come on. No, I, I mean on asked, White Guys Matter. You mean, if oh, the show was called Matter. White Guys Sorry. Matter and it was all black women, we gotta run. Okay, we're out. But we can keep talking on the podcast. Can we put on the collar? Let's put on the collar. Keep yeah. her going. Hey, you're on air. You're, well, you're not on air, but you're on the podcast part now. What's your name? Uh, Eric Nesbitt. How you doing, Eric? Where are you calling from? Uh, uh, Mill Creek, Oklahoma. I'm worried about this guy, Jess. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How you doing, Eric? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm just wondering if she feels the same way about when people come to comedy shows and they sit in the front row and comics, you know, dog them about the way they look or where the partner they're with and stuff like that. I mean, if you say, okay, we can't make this joke, where do you draw the line at? About what? Making fun of somebody's appearance? He's saying like when yeah, you say you, people I mean, feel... Somebody, you uh, know, there's people that's real depressed about the way they look, and you know, that may be the straw that they go home and commit suicide or some shit. If you're going to say stuff like that, I mean, how, how where's the line going to stop at? Well, I firstly don't really do that in my comedy. So do you rip anyone one. ever, Jess? Do you ever, do you ever tear well, anyone apart? I know, apart? but there's comics that do it. I mean... Yeah. Oh, you, you I do it. Like you, like okay, everybody's gonna. No one can do this. Okay, well, yeah. I'm going to say that a person's individual uh, traumas, like if they're depressed or if they have their they have personal issues, I will never, I'll never know that about their lives. What I'm talking about is 
ripping into somebody's identity, which generally most of the time, like there's there's a reason people are marginalized, why they're in those categories is because they've been oppressed at some point in their life. So I can usually predict that, you know, maybe if I'm telling jokes about, uh, you know, for example, uh, you know, oh, rape jokes. Oh, that's fun. Uh, you know, Aaron's favorite uh, category of joke. Uh, Top 10. Uh, you know, maybe the women in the audience won't really love that because there's a very good chance, like statistically, that some of them have been raped. But I can't really mind read what people are experiencing, and I think a lot of comics can't. I don't really do comedy like that. I don't really appreciate watching comedy like that. Uh, I Moffat, think that especially get, when it's yeah. gender, if it's, if it's specific to your identity, I really don't like it. Ashley, you get pretty, pretty like you know what what I think maybe Jess would be deeming mean spirited now and say like you you'll 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 you're fair game in your shows. Oh, if I'm hosting and there's a man doing anything I don't like in the audience, I'll rip him to shreds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I'll I, send him packing. I mean, I think that that's like also. I mean, I consider that punching up. I don't consider that. Yeah, punching no, absolutely. Down. I'm not gonna like yell at a woman or anything. Well, I or mean, like I a have. person of I'll color. I'll yell at a bachelorette party. I'll fucking tear them apart too. <laughs> I mean, also though, a bachelorette party is like you're not like saying women are whores. You're like, oh, no, bachelorette yeah, parties. Like, oh, this is a bit. Uh, you're yeah. loud. But, so let me ask you, and Eric, thanks for the call. I'll cut you off too because it's just yeah, going no on a problem. podcast. They call tomorrow. We'll talk then. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, I'll leave it at this, but um, it, it may be in a way like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, it's not like I'm sitting here defending the show, but maybe in a way it's actually a disclaimer of some sorts, which might be beneficial for people who might go into comedy clubs and not be aware of what they might get, which happens all the time. That sensitive individual who's having a bad month and, and is feeling a little depressed, maybe went into a club to, to get a pick me up and then all of a sudden gets ripped in because you never know what you're going to get on a lot of stages. Sure. Um, and and maybe, maybe the disclaimer part of it, knowing what you're going to get. It is not the inciting hate thing, which I think you're interpreting it might be, but maybe that's actually, is it, could maybe there be a positive out of that? That if you feel like you're going to be offended by the show, then you don't have to fucking go. Maybe, well, but I know what they, I think we know what they were doing with that title and they want to sell seats. Isn't yeah, they want to sell seats. Kevin whatever? Brennan that's made what, up that title to do the show at the Comedy Cellar in New York two months ago, and we just kept the title for here. We don't have to sell seats. Mm. I don't have a door deal. We just oh, did yeah, it to get a discussion about comedy happening, and it's wonderful that it's happening. And it's great to see that we're on different pages and that we can talk about it. Oh, I, I disagree with that, too. Yeah, you disagree with everything. That's why you're not funny. Oh no! She's that's so not, funny. Is I'm she so really? funny. She's, she's you funny. asshole. She's you're really, really funny. Right, well, why Ashley would you assume? So well, why would you assume? So because I'm having this like intellectual conversation with you, and I don't like your kind of comedy. Why would you assume I'm not funny? Well, I would funny? think as a comic, See, so even when you would talk that, seriously, you'd inject some funny into it. When I oh well, I'm just I take this matter really seriously. That's why I'm not injecting okay. that many. Well, what, what, what do you? I take everything seriously, but I make jokes about it. Oh, should I make jokes like the ones you made earlier sure. about all those rapes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that that what your your yeah. version of comedy yeah. is? Is that an admission of guilt or is that a joke? And you have to suspend disbelief. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys love suspending disbelief. Yeah, That's your you favorite guys. Fucking oh thing. my god, this is so anti misogynist. I'm gonna start a group. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on last minute. I appreciate that. Yeah, I do appreciate you coming in as well. Yeah. Was, and I hope uh, you come back anytime. Yeah. Will you come back? As long as Aaron's not here. Aaron lives in New York. I don't think he's going to be here. I think every couple of years. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'd love to have you back. Ashley, thank you. You didn't say much. No. I had a great time, though. You got new candy in the back. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, Jess is one of my favorite people. And yeah. uh, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not as smart as she is. And, uh, uh, you know why I come. I just want to get money from callers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, now, I, know. I think, uh, yeah, no, I, I hate the title of the show. Uh, I'm here supporting my friend, and I'm just not as smart as she is. You're also not the only person who hates the title of that show. There are lots of people who hate it. Lots of them. Yeah. Lots. Yeah. Aaron, thanks for coming in. I respect Dude, you for doing, a, being, being you. The most fun that I've had, and this was like such a great thing to talk with them and to be able to get like angry a little bit. It was great. We laughed for a while. We got angry. It's a wonderful experience overall. White guys matter. No, they don't.
<laughs> Women are funnier. <laughs> oh, God. I just threw I up in my so. own vagina. I don't know. There's I'm... a lot of very funny women. Yeah. Uh, you okay. are one of them. Thank my wife you. is one of them. Jess could be one of them if she she's really funny. censoring herself. She's super funny. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. This was... This wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Why would it be bad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, great. Um, Is that your most controversial episode in a long time? No. Really? Not yeah, in a long time. Not what the was most. the most controversial? Um, JJ Lieberman put a hamster in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Blau and I throw rocks at each other sometimes. It gets a little weird. <laughs> malachala, malachala, no Quran. I got to pee. Pedro's okay, uh, last day? Thanks, Aaron Berg. Go, uh, what, uh, Aaron's got a bunch. Just follow him. Aaron, Aaron, at Aaron Berg? Is that where he is? Aaron Berg, Aaron Berg Comedy. You'll find out all the shows. Uh, Jess, where can people follow you? Uh, you can come to the Crimson Wave every Sunday night at Comedy Bar. You Best can, show. 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 Comedy bar you Best can,